pop a boner. Figure it out. I don't need your help. Looks like Will's saying something. He's getting a shower now. He's moving outside. Oh, Will's getting
Carol. Test one, two, three, can you hear us? Yep, sir. Oh, joy. Anything now? Anyone know what I'm
put up a, um, a sign that says Shire we're closed next to the Pennsylvania Walking sign from the New York <laughs> side. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a good one, Nick. Sidebar. Gallery view. Over speaker view. No. The light. Maybe 
like half a second and that was it. Welcome to the Knights of the Smith Dinner Table live stream of Temple of Elemental Evil. Sorry for the late start, but with three of us here using Zoom in the same house, I had to fix some of the technical difficulties that we kept running into. But everything seems to be working. Also known now. as his wife. He had to fix his wife. <laughs> I did not have to fix my wife. My wife is perfect the way she is. All right. So when last we left our valiant heroes. Some time ago now, um, they had continued pressing on deeper into the Temple of Elemental Evil, and they faced a pair of ogres after taking on a small horde uh, of, uh, you can't see him because nobody's down there, a small horde of gnolls and a hobgoblin in that mix. Um, so we'll pick up right where we left off. Everybody's got their character sheets. Yes? Yep. Yep. Awesome. So, what do you guys wish to do? Uh, we looted these already, correct? Yes. How are we on healers? Whoa. And they're like, healing? Do we have healers or what? <laughs> like, are you able to heal? You are the healer, Danny. I know, but I wrote down who I battle medicine and who I didn't in the marker. James has that. He has ah, that, that I can look at. Let me pull your uh, folder. I think I need a pen. I marker. think I did use all my heal spells, though. You need a pen. I'm sorry. I don't have a pen. I need a um, dry er or wet erase marker. Oh. That was Cheryl telling me that she needs it. I thought Danny was saying that. Oh. All right. Here you go, so, Cheryl. Thanks, Nick. Looks like Constance and Foy out of everybody who's here. Did I battle medicine already? Yes. Can't regular medicine them either. After an hour, yes, you can. Okay. Who needs healing? Who do I need to medicine? Um, no. He's not here. Not doing real good. I'm at like fifty percent. But I already treated Foy. Is that what you said, James? Yeah. That's what he said. Oh, I still need to grab her a marker. Hold on. Okay, for all my tech savvy people, why did all my widgets go come off my? You got super quiet there over that. Why did my widgets come off my home screen? <clears throat> that I could not tell you. All right. Okay, so, do you guys have any healing potions or anything? You don't oh, come you, with that kind of stuff. You, I don't think so. You do still have that wand, or not wand, staff of healing. Shit, yep. right. I forgot it's, that. It's got four charges in it every day. Again, I didn't know how many charges it had either because that was written in sharp, or in marker on my... This sucks. <laughs> um, what level are we? Trace. Yeah, level three. Level three. Okay, uh, okay. I will use uh, charges on the staff to heal up Foy. Just let me look for it on my character sheet here. Okay. It casts it at the highest heal spell level you can cast. So right now that would be two. So 2d8. Eight. 
Okay, yes. Um, question. Answer. Because I took a feat that says healing hands, D10s for healing instead of D8s. Does that work with the staff too? Uh, yes. So it's 2D10. This. Your blessed spell is gone. Or not your blessed, that was the uh, performance. Now I'm trying to make sure I pick the right dice. Here you go, Cheryl. Look what I got for you. It's a dog. Oh, a puppy. That's only six. That was for me? Yep. Yes. Go ahead and use another charge of that. I mean, I'm down 11 still. I am good. What did I do last time? That's better. That is... Hang on. This marker isn't as good as the one Nick would have given me. 13. I'm full. Sweet beans. Everybody else is okay? For the moment, I am. Yeah. Yep. You don't count. Players, not DM. Uh, picky, picky. Actually, I think for the moment, you're dead. He's both dead and not dead. He's a Schrodinger's DM. What is this thing on the floor that looks like, I don't know, two boots connected with a line? Or a two-bladed sword. Oh, okay. Could be that, too. Can anyone use that? Um, what does that qualify as? It's an advanced weapon. I mean, on the line, I can use it, but not right now. Okay, not to be nitpicky, James. Yes. But I can actually see the stuff on this screen versus on the TV screen. That's because you're sitting much closer. And I've got it I sit right a next to the TV. I also have it zoomed in really far. If I go to the actual resolution. Yeah, I can't see anything again. There you go. That's with my laser eyes. Hmm. Uh, can I do detect magic on the thing? Indeed. You can do a read magic aura. Yes, I want to do that. And it is not magical. Okay. All right. Um, well, since uh, since my character has not been leveled up to three, it's only at two. Go ahead and level That's up. That's because Can you I took take some a time weapon off. proficiency and use that, James? Yeah. Oh, that seems metagaming. I'm a bit. You won't be able to flurry with it, though. That's the problem. Just as a backup, just in case. Well, I'm just asking. Do you? you... He, he's free to say no. Do you already have simple weapons? Monks do have simple weapons. So uh, that would give I'm you... not a monk, I'm a fighter. Oh, you're a fighter? I thought you were uh, a monk. Yeah. Then you're already, I'm a fighter. You're already trained in it. You're trained, you're not expert. Okay, so I need to be expert before I can... No, you're trained in it. Gotcha. You're an expert in martial oh, yeah. simple at level one. Oh, so you can so use yeah. it. Okay. I'll take it. <clears throat> okay. Got to put it in simple terms for Ben sometimes. I know. But it's an advanced weapon, not a simple weapon. Hence why we have to put it in simple terms. Even in simple terms, he doesn't get it because it's too advanced. He doesn't have <laughs> wow, that proficiency. fuck you. <laughs> I love you, Ben. I'm here. We oh, can I say all love. that stuff because you're not here and can't beat us up. Ben wouldn't beat us up anyway. She has a point there, Cheryl. I miss your face. He just questions his uh, life choices. Who's getting all messages? Right. Uh, apparently we all are. I'm not. Well, no, no one likes me. Just me.
So are we good on being able to press on? I'm always Lisa. happy to press on. I am not talking oh. to you, James Smith. <laughs> Hey, what's the damage on that, James? Uh, let me bring it up. Or if you have a page number. Page 469. Dude. All right. Okay, so what do you guys want to do? Go explore more shit. What was that, Cheryl? No. Uh, yes, you just go to annotate. Should be down towards the bottom. under view options at annotate. Okay, you're coming across really quietly, babe. Is it better like this? Yes. I'm holding the microphone right up to my mouth. Doesn't that one bend? Yes. Okay. This door. I'm magenta because that's my color. Okay. This door, have we been through here? No, you have not. What are these? Those are barrels. barrels. One is filled with rancid pork. The other one with a vinegar, vinegary smelling wine. These guys are dead. Both. Yes, both of the ogres are dead. Okay, I have a random question. I might have a random answer. In the future, will I be able to do this on um, Ark and Forge? Yes. Because I like being able to do that. And in the future, you'll be able to move your own tokens. I don't care about that part. I like being able to, like, draw on your board. <laughs> Although you I never understand where I'm talking about. I will have you know I am practicing a lot of self-restraint, not drawing a penis on here. I am doing the same, Danny. After Harley taught me how to draw a penis. <laughs> you didn't know I was going to make a, a comment. That have you... Like, never mind. Have you seen a penis? Well, like, I'm assuming you've seen James. You have a kid together. He's a, um, oh, you have a boy you change diapers on. Yeah, but you know, drawing one is <laughs> different than like. Ah, you know. oh, look at that! <laughs> I say, let's go this way. All right, so. Um, is it trapped or locked? Uh, is that my job? Let us see. Yes, oh, it yeah. is. That is your job. What is your perception bonus with the trap? Any trap modifier? <laughs> well, my perception is an eight. Do I get more above that? Uh, I don't think I you think, do. Uh, Not at this level. an extra plus two? Maybe. Uh, uh, is that a weird disarmament? Disarmament? Yes. Yes. Disarmament. Yes. I get a plus two to AC versus AC save versus trap failed trap disarmament. All right. So you head up there to search. The rest of you have moved in, and you do not believe that it is trapped. Can you put Remember, I get a plus. Two to saves. Is it locked? It is not locked. Where okay, who's our big baddie anything? that goes through the door first? Okay. That would be Ben, because he is the fighter yep. type. All right, so as he swings the door open, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Can I text in here? Uh, like put text on the map? No, like send you a message. 
Uh, yeah, you go to the, uh, the actual, uh, I found it. There you go. All right. And as he steps out, did I not give him vision? Let me check. Oh, James, uh, he's, Bill is good whenever. Okay. Yeah. Words are hard. There we go. And I'll get Will in here now. So you guys changed your names, and I don't know who anybody is, so I had to look. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Hey. It's okay. Hey, Hello. there's Will. There we go. It's a Will. Sorry I'm late. If there's a Will, there's a way. <laughs> Knew that was coming. Yep. Uh, All right. So Roller is here. He will be at the very back of the party. How did you guys get pictures? They're putting in digital backgrounds. No, like uh, Danny and Harley. Because mine just says Foy here. Um, well, I still can't get over the haircut. I know, right? You renamed wow. yourself, Cheryl? Um, Dice. <laughs> All right. Uh, I see. I don't have a profile picture. <sighs> you don't have a what? All right, so the door swings open, the light shines out. Um, I'm going to turn on Foy's vision as well, because she's the other one who can see. To the north, it looks like a hallway filled with bones. Um, and in the darkness... Ben, what's your character's name again? It's been Elias. too long. Elias sees a door right about there. Um, perception check to hear, to hear anything moving or anything. Go ahead and make a perception check. I see what those things are. Natural 20, so 28. Right, let me double check here. That doesn't sound right. Was the bonus plus three? 27, yeah. Okay. Um. You think you hear snoring coming from somewhere. What was that question, Cheryl? Should be on your screen. What? Those are bones. Oh, oh. Noise on. those are bones. Yeah, Looks like gonna... piles and piles of bones up there. I think I hear snoring, guys. Um, I can... Again. can I become invisible somehow? I'm going to pull out my bastard storage slowly and step through the door, see if I can... Well, cautiously step through the door and see if I can see anything. Cheryl, don't you have the uh, follow the expert for stealth? I am not stealthy. Yeah, you get to use the lowest stealth modifier. Right. So we all get it. Yes, we all get whatever Do I roll you roll. That or does the person? No, you roll it. You roll based it based on their I modifier. Okay, you guys can't see. But I'm going with the yellow dice. Oh, good. That means it's going to be 19. Nat 20! Hell All my yeah. rolls are going to be nat 20 tonight. No, actually, it's an 11. <laughs> What's your total? <laughs> Don't toy with me like that. <laughs> You're evil, Cheryl. Yeah, I think it's either Mertix or Ben's character that has the lowest stealth. Yo. Um, real quick. Chris, unless you're in the negatives, you're good. Um, I'm zero. Oh, good. We're, hey, buddies. <laughs> We're just clanking around back there. <laughs> Banks is probably pretty good. We're all doing me. Cheryl's sneak uh, as we're walking like this. Because that's how her voice walking. <laughs> nope. I'm just walking with my sword out, like, ready to fuck shit up. So, Nick. Honestly, um, we were watching. Oh, I know what it is. Harley got this game for the Switch. It's called like 
beep simulator. And when they sneak, that's how they sneaked. <laughs> and it made me laugh. Hmm. He's telling me okay. by the same people that do Surgeon Simulator, and it's really hard to play. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know. Carly can't drive a car, though. All right, That's so you concerning. guys are sneaking out. I mean, doesn't, doesn't she have a license? That's... In the game. Okay. Probably back in a room sleeping right now. I wish I was sleeping right now. Oh, she's awake. Did you hear I have coffee on? What? There's yeah. coffee. It's fresh. Coffee. A while ago. <laughs> All right. So you guys sneak out into the hallway. Um, you don't hear anything. You don't really see much of anything. All right. There's okay. the, the bone Doesn't piles Const to the north. Constance, is that her name? Yes. Yeah. Don't you still have your bones? Yes, I gave them all names, and I cuddle with them at night. Is there a problem with that? Well, I That's just didn't know if you wanted more bones. I could sneak up and get you some more. Is that what's up there? Yeah, those are bones. No, these are special bones. Those are dead people bones. Okay, I thought I'd offer. Is one of your bones named Ted Bundy? <laughs> I named them all after, like, serial killers. We got, like, Oh, Lord. Feet. Yeah, you know. I was gonna make a joke that you sleep with those bones because you can't get any other kind of boning. Oh, 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 oh. that is also true, Danny. Thank you. <laughs> Nat twenty. <laughs> For what? You just wasted it, man. No, no. Her comment. <laughs> no. All right. So, what are you guys gonna do? You got the hallway. Looks like it's filled with bones to the north, and you got this door straight to your east. Mm. Where does the snoring sound like it's coming from? You Straight go ahead or to the south. Uh, make another perception check, Elias. Liriana is also going to quietly ask if she, if Elias, 17? can tell how big this thing is from his role. Does someone have a bird? 17, yeah. Jimmy. I'm outside. I heard you. Um, you don't hear it anymore. I don't hear it anymore? Mm -mm. That means it fell sound asleep because it's not snoring. I'm more worried it hurt us. Hurt you. Um, Wait, well, he's debating what to do. I'm going to go over to the other door and um, check it for traps and see if it's locked. Okay. You do not believe that it is trapped. And it is not locked. Can I perception what's on the other side of it? Like, if I hear anything, feel anything? Yeah, go ahead and make a perception. Yeah, not so good. Um, 12. You don't hear anything. What? The rest of you moving up. Okay, can I make a sneak by myself up to the corner and see what's up there? Past yeah. the bones. You gonna motion for them to stay behind? Yeah. Okay. Make your stealth check. Um, is stealth its own thing? Oh yeah, there it is. Twenty-seven. <laughs> All right, 27. Um, let me find my critters. You have a hat on. Yes, I do. Okay. <coughs> You're not allowed to cough, guys. Don't you know that's a rule? I, I don't think that's the rule, but okay. That is a rule. You're not allowed to cough anymore. Yeah, everybody looks at you like you got Ever the plague. again. Well... Fuck, I'm screwed. My allergies have been killing me. Alright, so when you get up to the edge of the bone field here, that's, mm -hmm. that's what you see so far. Can I see if I hear anything? Like crunching of the bones? Sure. Make a perception check. 14. 
You don't hear anything. It's almost like it's quiet as a tomb down here. I mean, someone died down quiet. here. Was that door locked? No. But you don't know that, because I'm not down there and I didn't shout it to you. <laughs> uh, who's the sneaky sneak rogue? Cheryl? Mm -hmm. Me. Okay, I'm gonna I sneak slowly good. make my way over to the door. Wedge, tell him I sneak good. I mean, I, I could message. Oh, you do have that ability to, like, talk to all of us in our head, huh? Yeah. <laughs> because you did that once to us already. Just you. I thought you talked to all of us. James, I think you were talking, but I didn't hear you in the... Sorry, I forgot to unmute my mic. Um, what we, uh, what are you guys going to do? Do I have Alice to sneak back down? Uh, yes, but the other people can do something first, if they so choose. Well, my score for sneaking is a 17. What about the rest of you? Anything? Or are you just going to well, wait? I'm waiting till we figure out what the fuck's going on. <laughs> She's going to be waiting a long time. What's in the room behind me? Uh, it is... Actually, yeah, you don't have your vision on. Let me turn on your vision. This is one of the rooms that you guys came through. There were gnolls and hobgoblin, and a hobgoblin in here. There were four gnolls the to the south. Okay. You guys have gotten... I'll take you through here. Oh, I'm too close to the edge of the screen. So you guys fought through all of this. Okay, I remember that. When yeah, that's where we, we pulled the four encounters. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Got it. I'm going to keep stealthing forward, I guess. I'm going to kind of, like, push my way through the group and get into that open hallway. But I'll do it sneakily. Make a stealth check. That's 21. Okay. Where are you moving to out here in the hallway? <laughs> um, Probably up to the door, if possible, and then I will take a perception check to listen through the door. Like, I'll cut my ear to the door and try and listen. Okay. <laughs> You're not going to hear anything. Um, let me look at my perception. You don't know that. I do. I listen. <laughs> How about you roll back? Boy knows everything. Boy's super stealthy. Wait, super hold on. Intuitive. Two. Yeah, my sheet's like. My sheet's definitely needs to be edited. Um, that's another 21 on perception. Uh, you don't hear anything. Okay. I'm going to message, uh, use message and send it to Roller. Ask him what he sees and what he hears. Nothing. There's my response. My one word response. Right? I only get one word. No, you get a, you get a response. Period. Uh, I see Wait, bones. Shit. I see bones. Hear nothing, and see the little rogue. I'm gonna sign for him that it's okay to go through the door. I'm just gonna nod sagely at Roller's response. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> Liriana's just kind of hanging out there by the sounds of it. What about Wart Murdix and Bing? I'm ready for shit if shit goes down. Yeah, me and Fangster's on ready at the at the call. Okay, Constance. Um, I don't know. Um, where am I right now? Can you I go ahead and move up behind uh, Roller? Right there. Um, can I just... What am I? Do I hit people? You're oh, a singing yeah. bird. Well, I forgot that I wasn't a wizard. You're a hazard worry. I don't know.
father. What? I said I was gonna move out. <laughs> okay, I didn't hear that, I'm sorry. Where to? Um, next to the other people. So just stepping up into the line there? Yes. Okay. Alright, and Foy starts sneaking back down. Roller, what are you going to do? Um, I guess I'm going to open the door. Alright, so you swing the door open, and as you do... Okay. The ogre, who was standing on the other side, patiently waiting quietly for you guys to do just such a thing... Sounds right. Takes a swing out and does a well, 32 hit you. Um, no, it sure doesn't. <laughs> pretty, pretty sure my AC is a 33 minimum. All right. <laughs> so that is a yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Is it a critical, though? Uh, let's see. I've got a 19 AC, so... It is indeed yeah. a critical, then. <laughs> oh. Ouch. Ouch. All right, so that's going to be 36 points of damage. Ouch. Unconscious. <laughs> straight unconscious. Roller straight oh, up gets oh, hit. Yeah. yeah, real quick. Real quick. Roller straight what up gets hit What happened to that one guy? Uh, well. Yeah. He met an I, ogre? The hard way. <laughs> All right, so. Let me add her in. And I need initiative rolls from everybody. Even me? Uh, yes, because you're still you still have a chance to uh, stabilize. Uh, uh just twenty four for Elias. <laughs> Liriana got 16. Oh, I got a 19 second. for a roller. <clears throat> All right, oh. so 24. Liriana got a 16. What did roller get? What did he say roller got? Mm, I missed. I, I mm -hmm. missed it. Okay. Uh, Constance? Oh, I can't find it. Perception. Oh, perce you said initiative. Yep, perception is your initiative. No, they're not. 18. Uh, Murdix? Ah, jeez. Uh, I rolled an amazing two, so I have a total of 10. Total of 10. Boy? Oh. I am so much better than Chris, and I rolled a four. <laughs> so I have a 12. Nice, nice. Wedge. Uh, 16. Um, Liriana and I are tied on dexterity. What's the next step? Is it wisdom? Uh, yeah, whoever has the higher uh, perception modifier. Okay, so what's your perception modifier? Eight. Yeah, she's ahead of me then. So I'll bump her up to 17 for my little chart. Well, what did you say you roller got for initiative? Nineteen. Okay. All right, sort and the beginning of round one. Elias, you saw this ogre just wreck roller. Oh well, I mean that's that's just not gonna do. Like we can't have that. Um. Well. We'll go for, well, since my bastard sword's ready. Um, James. We're, we're going to move up and power attack him. Okay. Yeah, babe. Can you put the initiative tracker up on the screen? I sure can. I don't know if it's going to show for you guys, though. Actually, I might be able to force it to. It did last time. All right. Is it there? It is. Except awesome. there's a picture there. There we go. I'm that is a 22 side. to hit. 22 to hit the big old ogre is a hit. Ooh. Get How out much, of there. Make it come to the door. How much damage? Uh, so we got 
Six damage. Six. There goes the crappy rolls, guys. All right, roller, make a flat check. Do you oh, have so that the was on two dice alliance? Damn. Cocked. That's a three. So you go to dying two. Do you have the uh, toughness feed? Uh, sure don't. Okay. Constance. I'm going to pull out my rapier. Let me switch to your view. And do the, the song thing. And do the what thing? Sing it, Harley. The Not song. Alright, so you That's start your song. I'll move up one. Let me get the area of effect for that. This is currently a medium five foot emanation. <coughs> And then, how far up are you moving? Just five feet. It's okay. still a move. It's a step. <clears throat> Alright, so that was all three of your actions. To Liriana. Let me switch to your vision. <clears throat> I am going to move closer to the rest of the party. So there's five, there's ten. <laughs> How much farther would you I'm like to I'm going to continue because I'm assuming now I can see um, yep. rollers down. 15, 25. That puts you within touch range of roller. And we will touch him with the healing stick. Uh, all right. So you still have two actions left. Do you want to give him the two action heal out of it? Yes. All right. So it's going to be 2d10 plus 16. Twenty seven. Nice. Roller got twenty seven hit points back. Woo. All right. <clears throat> now he's just prone. Wedge! Alright, so I saw something swing out of the darkness and hit a uh, roller. Uh, actually, you can see what it is. It's, it's definitely okay. another ogre, but this one looks bigger and tougher. Hmm, looks bigger and tougher. Um, let's see. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Um, go ahead and move me to here. Okay, I see. And from there, I'm going to cast my telekinetic projectile. All right. It will have cover because Elias is up in the front. That's fine. Um, don't think a 13 is going to hit, though. 13 does not hit. Alrighty, and that's me. Then it's her turn. Oh, God. Oh, pardon me. So, she is going to bring the business to uh, Elias. Yep. Did you raise your shield? Oh, you can do it as a reaction. If he has the feet. I do not. Which one? Reactionary shield. shield. Or reactive shield? Yeah, I do have that one. Okay. All right. Does a 20 hit you? Um, did you roll over a 19? Yes. Um, I'm going to use that reactive shield. Okay, so that brings it up for the, uh, gives you a plus two bonus. What's that bring your AC to? 21. All right, so that one misses. Then she tries to bite. Um, that's going to be a 24. Well, that hits. You are going to take... Uh, nine points of damage. And... She gains... <clears throat> as she bites a chunk out of you... She 
she then attempts to hold you in her uh, jaws. Yeah. Uh, this is an athletics versus your fortitude DC. What is your fortitude DC? <clears throat> My fortitude is uh, plus 10. Um... So 20? Yep. All right, she does not succeed in holding you. Aha. Foy! Wait, here? What is Foy going to do? <laughs> uh, can I see my view, please? Absolutely. I'm if blind. It, if it doesn't, uh, auto save in the middle of you trying to do it. So I can't actually see the thing? Nope, but you know it's there. Okay. I want to move a bit chunk out of me. in and try and get behind it. So you want to? But I don't know if there's room. Tumble through. Sure. Okay. So you go five, ten. Make your acrobatics check. Fourteen. That is not going to be enough. So you get stuck here. I try that's, again. That's one action. Go ahead and try again. 21. That time, you go 10, 20, 25. Do you want to be there next to the door, or do you want to be up one? Which way does the door swing? Uh, you can't tell at a quick glance. Um, hold on. I'm looking at this room, right? Yep. I'm sorry. I am very... You know me. I'm sorry. What is this? All right. Let me read you the description since you're glancing around. Um, this is room... Okay. Oh, pardon me. Not bad. <clears throat> this place appears to have once been a visitor's chamber, but the plastered walls are broken and smoke-stained from the struggles of the past. A couple of couches have been shoved together to form a huge bed in the northeast corner. Several empty sacks lie on the floor, and a nearly full barrel of ale is near the west door. A large table and a root chair are in the northwest corner. The big yellowish cheese and several hard sausages lie atop the table beside an empty gallon jug. Under the table is an iron chest, nine spears, three morning stars, and two log swords. Pardon me. I'm lie pretty piled, counter. Lie piled next to the uh, south door. So do you what, want to lay pile next to the south door? I'm sorry. Those weapons. Oh, okay. She's standing over top of them. I am? No, she is. The ogress. Um, am I standing on the cheese? The cheese is on the table. All right. Why'd you leave the cheese upon the table? Because you wanted to. Do you want to be in this square or the square to the north? Oh, sorry. She's got to draw the cheese. Thank you. Um, thank you, Ben, for getting that. I just giggled. <laughs> You're welcome. Do I have a flank with Ben here? Yes. And these are couches? Yes. What is this yellow barrel? It is a barrel of ale. Mmm, ale. Bubbly fizz. <laughs> Ale's better. Okay, I'm gonna try and attack it with my rapier. Alright. Go ahead and make your attack. This will be your last action. I picked up a short sword, yes. Mm hmm. Uh, 21. That is a hit, but not a crit. That's fine. Uh, 1d6 plus 4. Plus your sneak attack. Oh, that's another d6, right? Yep. See, I'm learning. 12. 12. You stab her from behind. did hit it for? Oh, god damn it. Never mind. What? I rolled the wrong dice. <laughs> <laughs> she screams in pain as you strike her from 
behind, catching something semi-vital. In the butt. All right. From there, we're going to go to... Just a second. All right. So from there, we go to Mertix. Let me shut off Boy's view. All right. Come over to Mertix's view. Come on, Mertix. Shit, Actually, really, again. thanks, Dirk. Let's do this. I know, right? <laughs> All right. Well. That is what Mertix can see. Mertix can <laughs> see. Okay. So... I'm going to move up uh, east. I'm going to move east, too. Okay, so 10, 20. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong one. Okay. Let's see, where am I at again? You oh, started out maybe I, here. Oh, well, I'm up there. Okay. I Right there. <laughs> I would you like to move into the blue section. So, Why over two, not... over two, down one, and then over two to the east. Okay, again. so. Can you can annotate right where behind you're Constance? To? Yes, thank you. Right behind Constance? Okay. Yeah. So you move into there. That's one action. Okay, then I'd like to. Let's see. 5, 10, 15, 10, 10. Oh. I don't think Fangs can make it. I would like to also draw everyone's attention. You probably noticed this last week when I wasn't here. The nice shaded area of the singing. How it's a different color. Dig that. So... Fangster's move rate, I believe, is 40. Mm -hmm. So he Random. will not be able to get in there, can he? He could go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Let me, let me show you where he would be. Okay. He's right there next oh, to okay. Elias. So I can get in there. Okay, okay. Uh, so will he be, be able to do an attack, or is that it? He's got one action left, yes. Okay. And Fang. he has a flank with me. Yep, which means the okay. art, the Ogre's Armor class is too lower. So I believe Fangster is going to go for the bite. I'm going to scroll down here on my sheet. And the thing sideways shit. Okay. <laughs> um, so, right click yeah, on it right? and rotate it. The very last page always comes out sideways. I see Chris doing this. Yeah. Uh, there's got to be a rotate on. There is. Right click it. <laughs> right click. Yep. Oh, right there. Rotate clockwise. It's... Ah, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. Okay, Fangster. So let's see. That is. Two, five, so that's plus eight. Oh, nice, Fangster. You roll a 19 plus eight, 27. Okay. Uh, that is going to be a successful hit. That's even going to be a crit for Fangster. Really? Yep. So double the damage. Okay. It's a 1d8 plus two, it says, for the bite. So I think what we're learning is Chris needs to play pet classes. Uh, yes, ma'am. <laughs> that is affirmative. Ah, shit. Four points of damage. Oh, well, that would be eight points of damage. Eight points of damage. Damn, only a two. Or he needs to just play from home because he rolls really well when he's not getting his mojo right to the table. We well, can all roll really well. <laughs> We can, uh, I'm, I'm going to get a uh, second cam and like have it over top of my dice thing where I can switch, <laughs> you know, with like one of those AV switches where you go from A to B. So we can go on to a roll cam. 
<laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm working on that. <laughs> All right. And what is Martix's last action going to be? Uh, let's see. I don't. I can't do a cantrip. Cantrip will take two, correct? Cur well, it depends on the cantrip. Well, something like um, guidance is one. Oh, I can do guidance though, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Oh shit! Now I gotta re-rotate this bitch. Okay, this is new. Rotate. I don't want clockwise. Previous view. Okay. No, no, I didn't do it either. Let me rotate this. I apologize. That's crazy. On crack. The mouse disappears in the PDF. That happens sometimes. I wish I could just tell it to go counterclockwise. It should have it. So let me, let me uh, do it one more time. One more time. There we go. Uh, cantrips now. Which way for the cantrips? Okay. Let's see, it's cantrips. Um, was, was anybody bleeding out or anything? Uh, no, I'm only down nine. I'm pretty good. Okay. Uh, all I have is acid splash, ray of frost, and shield. Shield, is shield always a good choice. Yeah. So, so I'll, I'll cast shield. shield. Does that give me plus two? Is that what that does? Or plus yep. Two? Yep. Plus, plus two. Okay. All right. From there, we go to the beginning of round two. Elias, you are um, in this ogress's face. How, uh, how well can she move in this room? Uh, right now, not very well. Okay, so fighting inside the room is probably more prudent, isn't it? Um, all right. Uh, how bad is that? All right. You have a flank. I know yeah. I have a flank right now. Oh, let me turn Just off. Let you know. That. I'm thinking. <coughs> um, I would still have a flank if I get up on that table, right? No. No. Oh, right, because Cheryl would have to be in the door. Of the sky. You know what? We needed as many people hitting her as we can, and I'm going to try to get on the other side of her, over by Foy. Okay, so you're going to try and tumble through? Someone yeah. who actually can tumble could go through. Is that an athletics or an acrobatics? That is an acrobatics. Uh, 25? 25. Very nicely done. So there's 10, there's 20, there's 25. That's one action. Um, and then we're going to power attack her again. Okay. Uh, that is a, uh, 29 to hit. 29 is a hit. That's even a crit. Because you are still flanking her. Oh. You're flanked with, uh, Baxter. Am I? Yep. Yeah. Alright, so that adds a d6, correct? No. no. You're not a rogue. Oh, that's right. Never mind. No, that just makes it. Yeah. It's only me. Okay, so power attack. And... Uh, Who has a dog going nuts? 17. Okay. My stomach. 17 damage. How'd you manage an odd number? Mm hmm. Because it's a plus three on mine. So your total damage was 17 before doubling? Oh, sorry. So, so it would be 24. 34? What? No, if, if you double 14. 28. 
Okay, that. <laughs> I'm horrible with math, guys, okay? What did you roll? I rolled an eight. Plus? Plus a four. Twelve. Times two. Jesus. Twenty-four? I rolled a fifteen. So, what's your strength He's modifier? He's just making up numbers now, James. <laughs> 15 plus your strength modifier. Strength modifier is 3. All right, so that's 18. That's 36 total. Okay. All right. Okay. There we go. There we go. <laughs> we'll get him there. Let me drink some more coffee. Do you know your phone has a calculator on it? <laughs> Thanks, Cheryl. I'm, I'll, I'll use that. So, from there, it goes to Roller. You are prone, sir. I'll take an action to stand. One action to stand. It's going to cost me an action to draw my weapon. Yep. See? All right. And then I'll use my final action to hunt prey this ogre. Okay. Then it's Constance's turn. Oh, Constance. I'm here, watch it. Sing. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna sing. So sustaining it that changes it to this one. Mm-hmm. Then what are you gonna do? Can I even get in there? You have an open spot. Hold on, let me change the view to yours. That is what you can see, and yes, there is an open spot in there. Fine, then I'll, I'll go in there. So, five, ten. So you step in next to the ogress. Mm -hmm. That's two actions. What's your last action going to be? Can I get up on that table? That would be an acrobatics check. Uh, Thirteen. Thirteen is going to be enough to just hop up on a table. And that takes us to... Um, I forgot I go under tables. Me, it's my turn. Actually, uh -oh. no. Oh. It is... What do you mean, guys. no? You put the gnolls down below. There you go. Because they have a higher perception modifier than you do. All sacks. All right. Where, where did they come from? So, where are they? This door right here. Where did you come from? Where did you go? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, let me turn off Constance's view because this is a... a uh... So that door swings open, standing there as a knoll. Wait, I thought you said it swung in towards me. No, I said you couldn't tell at a quick glance. I think he lied. He did actually say that. Yeah, he did. Twice, <laughs> actually, because you tried you to refute it. guys are not supposed to support <laughs> games in this matter. <laughs> um, he's the one who has control to kill us or not, Cheryl. And that's what he's trying to do is to kill us. All right. For his... Our goal is to survive. For number one's final action... He uh, got a 20. I, die, I can play Fallout 4. He got a 20 to hit you with his battle axe, boy. Does that 20 hit you? It does not. All right. Then his friend steps in with a short bow. And you're going to have cover, so add two to your AC. Up there. 26. That plus two. Barely hit. I'm also short. That yep. should give me more cover than two. No, not in this instance. All right, so you take four damage from its first shot. And his last action, he shoots again. That is going to be a 23 to hit. Does a 23 hit, boy? Uh. That was gross. 
Excuse me. There you go. <laughs> Does Manners, a 23 hit boy? Um, not hooligans. Barely. All right. All of us have forgotten those thanks to social Four distance. more damage. Really lucky I have pants on, Cheryl. Ah! How many right. more? Four. Then the last one comes striding up into view. First shot misses. Second shot is going to be a 19. Miss. All right. Now it's Liriana's turn. <coughs> so let's go to Liriana's view. Liriana Thank you. I was right. just about to ask you to do that. That is what Liriana can see at the moment. I'm trying to find my phone because it has spell tracker. I sat it down and I don't know what I did with it. Liriana, I love that. You can't find your phone. I lose mine ten times a day. It was literally sitting on the floor <sighs> next to me. Stop, dog. Did it go under furniture? Yeah. Can you move me to where I can maybe see what's going on in this room? Oh, it works. I was gonna divine lance her. All right. So a step action, then you call down the power of uh it's gonna be good Coralon Lorethian what'd you get I rolled a two. What's your total? Ten. That's gonna be a miss. Two. What? I thought as much. All right. That's well, our first action is we're going to um, teleconnect projectile the ogre, and you need to draw me a crit fumble card. <laughs> <laughs> Nick. Oh no. Oh, no. magic. So magics are the bad ones. Uh, magics are indeed the bad ones. Ben, we're cutting you off. Excuse me, Cheryl. Thank you, Ben. All right, here we go. Uh-oh. Mind drain. Until you were healed, you were stupefied one. Ooh. Uh, does it specify healing? Uh, healed. Specifically states healed. Okay, so... Like, uh, uh, a heal spell, or... Yeah, a magical type effect. Or a potion. Okay. Alright, your last action? Um... Two five does what? It gives me minus to my... Um... Minus wisdom. one to your intelligence, wisdom, and charisma scores. Or checks. Okay. Uh, we will attempt to cast a uh, shield. Okay. I believe there is a flat check involved with that with stupefied. Yep. Let me see if it's five or ten. Uh, I failed. I rolled another one. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Nick. <laughs> Did you pick up some Crispo, Joe? I think the problem is, is I'm actually wearing pants tonight, so it's restricting my rolls. Probably. Well, God damn it! Turn off the camera, take off your pants, and sit back down and shut up. <laughs> Hold you on. Said, you don't right. normally wear pants at my house? It's different. Right, Nick? Yeah. Yeah, yeah the DC for the casting a spell is uh, 5 plus the value of the stupefied. So it was a flat check of six. Mm -hmm. All right. From Wedge, it goes to the Ogre. Who? Let's turn off Wedge's view. We'll bring back Boy's view because she's the one who can see everything. All right. So the Ogre is going to bring the business on Elias. Yep. 20 to hit. 
what was that? 20? Uh, that is a hit. You're going to take it or you're going to react to shield? Um, I'm going to react to shield. What's that bring your AC to? Uh, that brings it up to 19, 20, 21. Okay, so that turns a hit into a miss. Then she swings again for a 25, which is going to be a hit. Yep. Not a crit. 11 points of damage. Okay. And she swings one last time. 22. That also uh, that hits. For ouch, 20 points of damage. Oh god. Okay, I look like shit. She hit me hard. Ogres with great axes. Aren't they amazing? Um I have a feeling half my body is falling off right now, guys. What are your hit points? Seven at? hit points. I can ah. fix that. Foy. Foy here. Um. Okay. How's she looking? She is looking pretty battered. I am going to start my turn by attacking her with my rapier. Okay. Lunge out with your rapier, trying to stab as high up on her body as you can. Fifteen. Fifteen is just a little bit outside. Second action. Can I get under the table? Uh, you'll have to tumble through. Uh, fifteen. You're gonna. Sh uh, fifteen's not enough. You'll have to shove the chair out of the way, too. The what? There's a chair in your way as well. So, will that take two actions, then? Yeah. Alright. Last action. So, you could... can I tumble to the other side for that? Yes, you can attempt to, yes. Uh, 24. 24, you were able to safely tumble to that side, which gets Sorry, you ben. from those gnolls. Can I shout, gnolls? Do I know they're gnolls? Yes, you have fought many gnolls since you've been in this place. I'm, I'm pretty sure I know those gnolls are there. All right. They didn't hit you, they hit me. Murtix. I'm pretty sure oh, I heard those right. gnolls. Heard me groan. What, oh. is the, what is the little gnome going to do? Well, uh, Fangster, he's a little hungry right now, so he's going to try to take a bite out of the old ogre. Okay. All right. Fangster. Come on, Fang. Mm, maybe not this time. Um, Fangster. Roll the five. Plus, I think it was eight. So that would be 13. That would be a miss. And his second attack? Uh, is there a negative to this? Was Minus four. Eight? Pardon? Minus four. Minus four? Okay. Come on, Fang. Son of a bitch, no. I rolled another five. All right. The flank is keeping it from being a critical thump, critical miss. Um, what about okay. your last two actions? Okay, I am going to cast with my cantrips. Um, I will... And it's just a little dot when it's on this. Okay, there. Good, good, good. Um, I will go ahead and cast Oh, Ray of, Ray of Frost. All right, make your attack roll. Okay. Oh, I got a different die. Shit. So 15 plus. Ah, uh, this thing may describe me now. Fifteen plus and it's the spell stuff, right? That is correct. Um 
bar. Web bar. Okay, and spell, spell. Plus eight, so eight and fifteen is twenty-three. That is a yeah. hit. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's a hit, and I can't remember what the. I need that pull that up, but my phone doesn't have it. Is that a one d six? One d four. Plus your uh, wisdom modifier. Plus wisdom modifier. Uh, five points of damage. Five points of damage. Yeah. All right. Back to the top. Round three. Elias. All right. Switch to um, your view. Well, screw it. She has hit me hard, and I'm pissed at her now. Um... We're going to uh, stand and deliver on her. Okay. Power attack and just wail on it. All right. Uh, 20 to hit. That is a hit. That is a solid okay. hit. Ooh, that's not good. Uh, uh, seven damage on that one. All right, and your final action? Um, raise shield. Okay. Roller. Aha! I'm going to make a hunted shot with my first go. So 26 to hit with one of the two arrows. That is a hit. Okay. That's a total of 13 damage for that one. And then I will take a third shot at my neg. And that's going to be a four. All right. Is your... Shot the shots that landed hit. She falls to the ground quite dead. That's nice. fun. right. All right, that moves us on to Constance. I'm gonna There's your view. Keep singing. All right, let me bring out the can next. I, can I hit it from where I'm standing? Um, she is dead. Oh, sorry. Okay. And then there's things in the corner. You can see what appears to be a knoll down there. Hold on. That is the wrong thing. Okay, um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna switch my rapier for my, um, sling. Okay, so one action to... Are you just gonna drop the rapier? No, I'll actually put it away. <laughs> Alright, so that'll take you the rest of your turns. That's fine. And then it goes to the gnolls. This one takes a step action, steps in next to Elias, swings, and misses. Swings a yep. second time. This one is at minus five. 22 to hit. Oh, uh, it hits. 
Alright, you're gonna sh uh, use your shield block? Yeah, we'll go ahead and use shield block. Yep, because you, well, he's got it raised, so he can use shield block. Alright, what's the... It's gonna be 12 points of damage, so what's the hardness of the shield? Hardness is 5. Alright, so you and the shield take 7 points of damage. I am unconscious. And then he uses his last action to five. Let me move him to the top. That would be ten. That would be twenty. This guy goes five, ten. Uh, he sees the situation and he will drop his uh, bow, draw his battle axe for his second action. And then ten, twenty for his third. And then the other guy, 5, 10, 15, he will drop his bow, <coughs> 25, and then he is going to attempt an acrobatics to hop up on the table, he got it by a lot, and that will be his action. And all of them are calling out loudly. As they move into position. Uh, Liriana! Don't worry guys, I have a backup character ready. Oh shit. Hide <laughs> behind the pile of dead bards. How'd you know? I mean, uh... Can I see that Ben's character's down? Indeed you can. That's... He's in range of a two-action heal. Um, He's also in range of a three-action heal, too. We'll do the two-action heal. Okay. That's 2d10 plus 16. Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine healed. And that was my last charge out of the staff. Ooh. All right. You are awake, healed, and prone. And what about your last action, Liriana? Raising my shield. All right. From Liriana, we go to... She remembers to raise, his, raise her shield, shield when she plays herself. Right? Bite me. Wedge. What's that? All right, we're going to, in our stupefied um, existence right now, we're going to attempt to cast Telekinetic Projectile. DC 6 uh, flat check. I, I need to hit a 6, right? Uh, hold on, it might be 7. Let me double check. Nope, 6. All right, cool, because I hit 6 right on the money. That's why I was double checking. All right, so the attack roll, and of course they have cover and all that stuff. Uh, I miss. I rolled a two. <laughs> it's after rolling all those crits last week. That's what's doing it. Alright, and your last action? Uh, I will attempt to cast shield. Hey, I made it. Alright. Foy! Can you change my view? Uh, yes. Jason, thank you. Where is number three? He's on the table? Yes. Okay, can I... Shove the chair out of the way and go under the table? Absolutely. So one action to shove the chair, second action to step under the table. The chair gets slammed over this way. I kind of want to be like where three is. 
I liked it the other way. It looked more like I destroyed it. All right, so you are under the table in two actions. You have one action left. I'm going to attack number one. All right. I rolled a 10, so I go again. No, that's 20. 19. 19 is a hit. Damage. Five. He yelps in pain. From Foy. The table gives me cover, right? Yes. We go to Mertix. Alrighty. Well, we are going to have Fangster actually attack number... Need to see what he can see? Yeah, yeah. There you and go. I he's going to attack number one. Okay. Attack the wounded guy? Yeah. Yeah. So he's going for a bite. And that is a 14, and I believe a plus 8. Yes. Uh, so that is a 21. That oh, is I'm a sorry. hit. Yeah, 22. That's still a hit. Okay. Uh, okay. So, let's move that one out of the way. And... Three and... So that would be five. Five damage? Five points of damage. All right. He's looking a little beat up. And, whoops. And, uh, what about your last two actions? Oh, um, sorry, he, he still has one more action. He, he can, he can take another fight. chomp, can he? Yep. With a minus four. With a minus four? Okay. Yeah. He's going to go for the, for the chompy chomp. And so that's a 15 plus eight. So plus four. So that'd be a 19. That is a hit. Okay. Nice. Nice roll. Nice roll. This is going to be a max right here, I believe. Or no. Four, so that'd be six. Six points of damage. Okay, now Murdix's last two turns. Okay. Two actions. Well, I am going to Ray of Frost him. Alright, make your spell attack. Okay, we're gonna go for... Just die right here. This one looks a little lonely. Ooh. A 19 plus... What did I say? Seven, I believe, so 26. 26 is going to be a hit, but not a crit. And, uh, let's see, 1d4 plus 3. Use this one. Oh, six points of damage. All right. That knoll is looking really beat up. Then we go to Damn, Elias. Elias. Okay, so... You are pro. Number two looks. Yep. Number two looks beat up too. Uh. Number two has not been touched. Let me switch to your view. Okay. There we go. Be right back. So. Look. You gonna stand? We got a key. All right, so I'll stand up as my first action. Okay. Um, we'll go ahead and step over behind number two. Okay, so you stride over because it's difficult terrain. Yep. That gives you a flank with bang. I'm going to attack number two. All right. So the last action, straight up regular attack. Uh, twenty-two. That is a hit, but not a crit. Okay. So it's just one die of your damage die. Uh, 14 to hit. I mean, 14 damage. All right. Roller. Um, how's number one looking? Pretty battered. 
How's number three looking? Untouched. Untouched. All right. I'm going to hunt prey number three and just take a single shot. That's a 25. That is a hit, but not a crit. Okay. That's nine damage. Did you get your precision damage? Yeah, that's with the precision. Okay. And your last action? Uh, I'll take a shot at number one. Okay. It's a 14 to hit. That is a miss. I figured. Constance! Ooh, you're drooling. Why are you drooling? All right. Constance, what are you going to do? I'm going to sing. Okay. Increasing and the size. And then I'm going to... What? That increases the size. Okay. And then, am I going to get a penalty for shooting at number three? So, what is it? A short bow? It's a... Sling. Yeah. A sling. Let's see if it's got the volley trait. <clears throat> now, if he had a tax of opportunity, he would get that. But. Let's see. Simple sling. It's propulsive, but not volley. So. Um. You can do it. And if you have a strength modifier, you get to add half of your strength damage. Strength modifier onto that. So, onto the damage. So half of zero? Yeah. It's a 27 to hit with a natural 20. That is going to be a crit. Let me draw the crit card. I would like to blow his face off, if that's an option. So you're, you're launching the bullet, the sling bullet, right into its face. It's going to cause normal damage. And it and each enemy adjacent to it must succeed at a reflex save or fall prone. So what is your class DC? My DC? Yeah, for your bard. Your bardic DC. It'd be your spell DC on your uh, bard page. Okay, hold on. Ooh. Chili. Oh. Um, eighteen. Eight. Eighteen. Yeah. All right, so that's going to be the DC. Number three fails. Uh, number one succeeds. So number three is prone. Let me let me throw this on there. That way I don't forget. I'm going to put a P right there. So he is prone. And your last action. Do I have uh, what, damage? What damage did you do? Um, two. Okay. And your last action? Can I do it again? What's the penalty to do it again? Minus five. Okay, we'll do it then. Did she get a height advantage against him now? Uh, he's considered flat-footed, so technically, yeah. Yeah, technically, yeah. Um, 16 to hit. That is going to be enough to hit because he is on his back. Beautiful. Damage. That's three to hit. Or three damage. All right. Then it's their turn. Um, number one is going to turn tail and run. Ben, do you wish to use your attack of opportunity? Yeah, I'm going to use it. All right, make an attack roll. Uh, uh, so 15 plus 10, uh, 25 to hit. That is a hit, but not a crit. Gotcha. Regular damage. Um, we got 11 on that one. 
and he falls. Ha ha! That should be able to flip it off. All right, then number two is not liking his prospects, so he's going to try and knock down the human next to him. Swings his battle axe for a total of 23 to hit. Does 23 hit Elias? Uh, yes, it does. All right, he takes six points of damage. Okay. Seeing that that wasn't enough, I assume. Nope. He swings again and gets an 18 to hit. Does not hit. AC is 19. And swings one last time. Uh, you had raised... Did you raise your shield last round? No, you didn't. No, I didn't. It's still okay. down, so you it's can't. just AC 19. All right. So that's going to be an 18 to hit, which is a miss also. Then number three is going to stand up. Uh, as he does, he does not like this chick in his face, hitting him with sling stones at point blank range. So he swings his battle axe at Constance. 27 to hit Constance. Oh, Constance. Paging the bard. Harley. Uh, Harley. Yes. There you are. Does a twenty-seven hit you? Um. Yeah. Uh. Does it crit? Is it more than ten higher than yours? No. Okay. <clears throat> you take eight points of damage. Eight. Yep. Then he swings his axe again. Twenty-four to hit. That hits, not a crit. For nine damage. And he swings one last time with a seven. That misses. How far does that miss by? My thing's 19, so... So he is going to be prone again as he slips and falls off the table. Then it goes to Liriana. What is Liriana going to do? She says she's shooting a divine lance at the prone guy. Alright. Alright, I didn't hit switch to the screen. Yep. 24. 24 is a hit. Not a crit, though. I'm double-checking my damage. Divine Lance, I think, is a 1d4 plus your caster modifier. Yes. Although, you're level 3, so it would be 2d4. That sounds correct. Eleven. Eleven? So as you call down the power of Forlon again, the Divine Lance strikes him, and he is not looking good. I'll raise my shield with my last one. All right. From Liriana, we go to Wedge. All right, I'm going to make my flat check for my spell. I made it. I'm going to cast Teleconnect Projectile at the prone guy again. Oh, am I... I'm not inside of her song, am I? You are not. I will take the step action to get inside of it. Okay. Before I cast, and then cast. And that's going to be a total of 18. That is a hit. No, that is a miss, because he has cover. Yep. All right. Foy!
I'm waiting for my view. It's right there. Okay. <laughs> um. Uh oh. She's a sorry. Thing. I. No, I'm sleeping. Hmm. Um, I'm trying to attack the prone number three, I guess. Okay. Um, probably not with a 12. No, not with a 12. Even though he is flat-footed. About a 17. That is going to be a hit. You will get your bonus dice. Eight. All right, and you lash out and drive your rapier deep into his neck, and he stops moving. Your last action. Um, I'm gonna step onto the dead bodies. So it'll have to be a stride. Because that's difficult oh, you, terrain. That, I can't do that in attack. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'll go there. That's fine. Okay. So you guys have this last knoll surrounded on three sides. From Foy it goes to Mertix. Aha. Uh -huh. I will use the trusty dice that uh, I got for uh, Christmas. I'm a very nice lady. <laughs> a very nice lady. <laughs> okay, and I uh, Fangster's attacking obviously here, so he's going to give uh, giving the biz. Okay. Mm, Fifteen and eight, twenty-three. That is a hit. Okay. Fangster lashes out with his teeth. Hmm. Here's the one we want right here. This one's just begging to get a max die roll. Oh, no. Ah, uh, that's some bullshit. <laughs> it, it maxed, but it jumped out. So, not can't do that as much as I'd like. Damn. Uh, three and I believe two. So, that would be five points of damage. Okay. Damn. His last action? Uh, we'll go for it again. Okay. And so it's minus four. Oh. I am not lying. I thought that was a one. It is a seven. So seven and eight. So it's an 11. An 11 is a miss. And then your last two actions. Okay. So I would like to... Got my screen in the way. Ah, oh, shit. That just totally moved it. Okay. Um, sorry. Uh, can I move diagonal one? Like up? Uh, north, northeast. And let's That's see. I can't do. Left. Yeah, I'll just uh, do shield. Elias. You're right. up, Elias. Um, well, two's still standing, isn't he? Indeed. We're going to remedy that situation. We're just going to stand and deliver on him. Um, little power attack for the first one. Uh, 14 to hit. 14 is a miss. As you swing okay. too high. Did you remember the plus one from the song? 15, then. Still a miss. Yep. Um, and then we'll just follow up with uh, just a standard attack. That's the minus five, correct? Minus no, minus 10. 10. Minus 10? Right, Power attack power. counts as two on the uh, multi-action penalty. Uh, same, I got a 15 again. All right. It was, so it was nice. with an 18 on the die. All right, it is Roller's turn. 
All right. I am going to hunt prey number two. Okay. And I will take a hunted shot. Let's see. Give me a second. <laughs> Turn the brightness up. Hey, there we go. Twenty and a thirteen. Twenty is a hit. A thirteen is a miss. Okay. <coughs> That's twelve damage. And the last one falls to the ground, dead. Sweet. You got it. Um, as you guys are standing there, go ahead and make perception checks. Everybody? Yes. 26. 27. Damn you, Cheryl. 18. <laughs> 9. Number <laughs> 1. 13. 16 with my stupefy penalty. Constance? Huh? Okay. Harley? Yes. Perception? Uh, 18. Alright. Well, hell. Whose light do I have on that's got the purple going? Oh, wait. Rollers. Alright. All of you can hear what sounds like more gnolls barking orders at each other. Definitely coming from the room to the south or at least beyond it. Um, do you guys wish to push on, or do you want to fall back and get rest? Because you've been down here for quite a few hours now. I I could use rest. I'm not feeling I like if I get a heal, I can fight some more. I'm I'm not affected by that. I can medicine I'm, him, but I am out of slots. I would find um, some some bandaging myself if possible. I guess I could just do this myself. Well, if you're going to do medicine, you may not want to hang around here. Because mm. it takes ten minutes per attempt. And we heard them calling for someone. Well, they're... Something. Sounds like sounds like they're shouting orders. <sighs> well, while they're deciding, I'm going to attempt to put a sigil next to this door that we opened. Uh, I made the flat check. Okay. E yeah, can I go investigate the bone hallway? Sure. Okay. And I'm going to tell them to start closing doors as we um, leave. What about the rest of you? Is there anything on these uh, varmints that we killed? They have battle axes and short bows. Um, the big girl has a great axe. But it's size large, so it would be pretty difficult for you guys to use. Perfect. You said you were shutting the door. Yeah. Can I lock the door? Ah, you want to try and lock it? Yeah, ah, that seems like something I should be able to do. Make a thievery check, because it actually does have a lock on it, it just wasn't locked. 16. 16, alright. You think you have successfully locked the door when you jiggle it, it, it is locked, but you're not sure how well it'll be. It just depends um, on the quality of the lock. Can I maybe get some of my bigger friends to move this table and uh, or the couches in front of the door? Bigger friends? Okay. I'm just a little halfling. Who else is strong? That's you. Just you. All right. Um, okay, so straight strength check then. Athletics. Well, better at that. Right? So you'll have to Oh, I'm not awful at athletics. I have a plus five. Sixteen. Alright, so you shove one of the couches in front of the door. Can I help him get the other one up on top of it? Yeah. Go ahead and make your uh, athletics checks. All right, while you guys are doing that, Roller, you get up here, and... 19. I get a 15 to help you. I don't know if that 
does anything. That is what you see without stepping out into the bones. Is it possible to stealth into the bone field? So let me let me read you the actual description of this room. I, I think that will be pretty telling. Okay. Um, for at least a hundred feet of its length, this twenty foot wide corridor is covered with bones. Skeletons of humans and humanoids are mixed in a terrible jumble. Many skulls and loose bones seem gnawed upon. The complete skeletons, though, still wear sundered armor, dented caps, or sprawled by broken shields. Bent and broken weapons likewise testify to a great melee having taken place here. A hundred, two, perhaps more, all met their death here. Further progress along this corridor requires carefully picking a path between these grim remains. However, as you're looking, you don't see anything of uh, value that's discernible. Okay. I want to carefully enter this path. All right. Go ahead and make an acrobatics check. So 25. 25. So you're able to step carefully in without stepping on any bones. Sweet. As you do, though, rising up from the middle, from all over the place, are a bunch of animated skeletons, their eye sockets glowing red. Awesome. And, um, as they do, the one closest to you is going to get to take a swing at you. Yeah, that sounds... That seems to be about right for you. Yeah, today it's been on on point. <laughs> All right, as it comes up, it takes its swing and does a sixteen hit you. It does not. All right, that's going to put us back into combat rounds. Hey, let You're me welcome. add. Fuck. Why did Will do that? I thought I could sneak through the bones. How about <laughs> if you just step out? Hey, James. Yeah. Do you have on the plastic sheets that I... Did I use my defined font or no? Uh, let me see. If you had it on the plastic sheet. If I used it, I think I would have marked it off as how I was doing it. Uh, you spent two heals and one spell slot is what it said. So I didn't use it yet. Uh, I think the two heals would be the divine fawn. How many do you have? No, I think I prepared two heal spells. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so, Elias, what did yes. you get for your initiative? Uh, that would be a 18. 18? Roller? Ooh. It's a 27. <clears throat> Respectable. Thank Constance. you, thanks. What did Constance get? What am I rolling? Initiative, your perception. Um, 11. 11? All right, Liriana. Nine. Wow. Wedge? 13. Foy? Perception? Yeah. Seventeen. Murdix. Twenty-three. Sorry? Twenty-three. And they got... And sort. Alright, Roller, you're right up there in the middle with them. 
What are you going to do? Um, <clears throat> I am going to... Let's see. Can I move without taking an attack? Uh, if they don't have attack opportunity, then yeah. Okay. I mean, then you can I'm... take a step first. Yeah, that's what I... Okay. It's difficult terrain in the bones, so the only step action you could do would be that one Before. of the two squares to the south. Okay. Uh, yeah, I want to move back as far as I can get in a single movement. That's five, ten. 15. What's your speed? Uh, it should be... <coughs> 25? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 25. Yeah, it's okay. 25. So you get back to there. Uh, I'm gonna say we have skeletons ahead and then take a shot at number four. Okay, so second action is taking a shot. Oh, that's a two. So that's only on 11. That is going to be a miss. Yeah, I figured. <coughs> uh, I'll try one more. Okay. <coughs> Who's choking? Girlfriend. That's a... Hey, now. <clears throat> Isn't your kid is on it? No. No, 18. 18? That'll be a hit. Okay. That's a damage. Eight damage. Uh, doesn't seem to do much to him. I assume piercing damage. <laughs> All right. That was roller. Then we go to. Oops. There he is. Murdix. Okay. So, are we gonna funnel into this? Uh, Funnel into the both rooms. I'm gonna turn and ask ask everybody. You know, are we, I don't know. Are we gonna try to stand inside the room and attack them one at a time? Anybody? Yes. Okay. Not okay. this room to the right. I say we go to the left. So we cross the hall to the other side. Yeah, because we have big baddies coming in. Right, right, right. And we don't want the commotion. Okay. Well, I am going to... I will go full max. Well, the 25, 5, 10, 15, 20. I will go 25. I will go, what is it, down one and over. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's one action. And then I will have Fangster come out of the room. He's in up one. And I will leave him. The doorway that I'm at right there, uh -huh. um, I will... Like right there? Well, I don't know if I should keep him out. Yeah, we'll bring him into the right of me. Uh, one below me then. Because he can always come out. I sort of want to leave him out. And then I'll cast shield. Okay. From there it goes to... Elias. Alright. Um, well... Let me switch views. It looks like everyone is moving across the hall then. Seems like All it. Right. I'll go ahead and let's see. Five, ten, ten, five, thirty. What is my movement? We'll go ahead and take the double move to get all the way across that hall. Okay, so five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five. What's your speed? Um, 25, I believe. Okay, so that would be one stride would put you there. Um, we'll go ahead and take the second stride to get into the door. So 10 feet. Step in, all oh, 10 feet in? Okay. Um, can I actually go, uh, right beside the door 
um, towards the north. All right, so that turns it into a stride because you have to step up into the ogre body yep. square. And yep. your last action? Um, so preparing attack is two actions, correct? Yep. Yep. Okay, so we'll graze my shield as the last action. Okay. All right, so from there, we go to Foy. What does Foy wish to do? Who's in here with me? Uh, just you and Constance inside the room for now. Constance, does it look like she's going to leave? Uh, I don't know. You'd have to ask Constance. Constance, does it look like you're about ready to leave? Mm. The answer is yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know. I am going to hold my action until after Constance. All right. So you are delaying. Is that allowed? Yep. Yep. All right. Then we go to Wedge. All right. I see the number four, the close one, correct? Yep. I'm going to teleconnect oh, projectile, the pass the flat check, and get a total of 13 to hit it. Oh, I see what happened. There we go. Apparently I accidentally went down a level. All right. And what spell did you cast again? Telekinetic projectile. Okay. And your two hit? A uh, total of 13. 13 is going to be a miss. All right, and I will take my last action to uh, move to... You started here. There? Yep. All right. Constance! Um, I'm going to thing and leave the room apparently good girl <laughs> so where to did you say uh, sing yes okay so there's five um i guess just out for the moment 10 15 the skeletons are up, right? Uh, as far as you know, you can vaguely see one at the edge of your vision. And then I'll go up like... Up like two or so three. So that would be 15, 20. Yeah. You said you were singing. Yes. So this was reset. always humming a little tune. What's that? She always be just like humming a little tune. Mm -mm. There we go. But it's not going to do anything then, Cheryl. Why? Rules. Because it's a spell effect? Alright, what about your last action, Constance? I'll pull out my rapier. Okay. What are you going to do with your sling? Put it away. <laughs> Or are you going to hold it in your offhand? Because it's an action to put it away. I mean, I guess. Okay. All right. Foy, you going to go now? Yeah. Hey, Constance. Yeah? If you need to go to bed, go to bed, babe. Okay. Okay? I won't let that kill you. <laughs> like she can stop me. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Um, yeah, I want to go after Constance. Um, who's standing in the doorway? That would be Roller. Roller? I want to lock the door. Can I do that diagonally? 
like pull the door shut as you, or step out, pull the door shut, and then lock it. Uh, the only problem with that plan is the lock is on the other side. I can't go north? No, the lock is on the inside of the door. There's not a keyhole? Not in this, this hallway, no. It's the same with the door across the hall, too. How does one unlock this door? <clears throat> lock from the other side. Well, there were two entrances to both of those rooms. So you're guessing that these doors are not intended to be used by the general public. That makes no sense. Who puts doors in that building that aren't supposed to be used? Whoops. I mean, it's, this is a it's like chaotic it's a maze. cult. <sighs> Why didn't Constance move up there? I don't know. She missed the fact that we were all going into the other. And She's she going by the logic that if she dies, she gets to go to bed. Well, I let her go to bed without dying. <laughs> and now she's going to die because she moved herself into a bad position. Um, I'm going to go ahead across the hall. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five? I'm going to go south of... Oh, like here? There, yeah. Okay. Liriana, let me get your view up here. I am following my friends. You don't want to go up and drop a divine font up there? No, I'm trying to get them all in one spot so I can hit them all together. All right, one action to move in. Or do you want to stop just inside the door? Just inside the doorway. Okay. So you Go know, back one, Danny. Hi. So they know. can step in and we kill them. So where you're standing, if I think if there's only if piled up on know. either side of the door, the channel will not go through the stone walls. So it's better to be right in the doorway. In the doorway or in the hallway. You're gonna get more in the doorway, but not as many as you could get from the hallway. If that was your plan. I stand in the doorway for now. I might step forward when they get closer, but that's where I want to be right now. Okay. Raise my shield for the then last one. Then it's their turn. Did you hear her? She's raising her shield. Yeah. Um, we're just going to pull Constance for now. She took off running to get clear. Alright. Then these guys. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Second action is going to be to attempt to attack Roller. Miss. And does a 15 hit Roller. Nope. So he's got one action left. He's going to miss. So these guys all pile up. And he will get a swing at... Had to do the counting. Uh, Liriana. <coughs> I'm betting that a 10 is not going to hit. Actually, oh, sir. I think that's a critical miss. What's your AC? What's your 
get your AC, Liriana. And plus two from your shield. So for some dumb reason, I didn't put the total down. <clears throat> 19. 19. So that is not a critical miss. The last one comes in and gets a 20 to hit. This latest one, I should say, not last one. Does a 20 hit Liriana? Truly. Uh, does she have a cover bonus? Uh, yes, plus two. So then, no, it will not hit them. Okay, and then there's... This guy. Love you. Love you. Alright, from there, it goes to Roller. What? Okay. Alright, what's Roller doing? Can I get in a door beside me? At all? They lock it? They couldn't lock it. Alright. I wanna try and duck in that room. So spending all three actions open, step, close. Yep. <clears throat> so open, step, and close. And as you shut the door, you hear the other door being banged upon. Does the program actually make you open the door, move the player, then close it again? Nope, that's me. Okay. I mean, it would make sense if it did. I was just curious. <laughs> well, right. in the future. Yes. All right. From uh, Roller, it goes to Mertix. Okay, um, I will cast a cantrip. What are you casting? Um, uh, disrupt Undead. Alright, that one you just have to roll damage for. Okay, and I believe that is a 1d, what did I look up? Uh, uh you're, you're level 3, so check and see if it increases. Because it is a uh, cantrip, so it automatically gets heightened. Oh, okay. Heightened damage uh, increases by uh, 1d6. So it says, you. the normal description is you deal 1d6 positive damage plus your spellcasting ability modifier. So in your case, wisdom. So it'll be 2d6 okay. plus your wisdom modifier. 2d6 plus my wisdom, which I believe was 3 if I... And what's your save DC? My save DC is uh, snap. Give me one second, sir. I apologize. Save DC is Uh, where do I find that? I apologize. Should be on your druid sheet. Mm -hmm. Does it just say save DC? Yep. Why am I not seeing it? I see saving throws, but. That's not the right page. It's the same page where all your druid abilities are. Okay. Oh, shit, dead. Sorry. My druid abilities. Yep. Come on, why is this thing not scrolling now? Um, you may have to click on it and then scroll. Yeah, that's what I was doing. So sorry, I'm just... 
Don't apologize, Chris. It shows weakness. Uh, yes, I know. Save DC. That's primal spell DC, right? Yes. Okay, there it is. I got you now. So that would be an 18. All right. So it did not critically fail. How much damage? Uh, D6 plus 3. Ah, shit. 6 and 3, 9 points of damage. And that one goes poof as it falls into dust. With a blast of pure positive energy. And that takes us to Elias. Okay, so none of them have come in then. No. But neither has um, Roller. And you heard a door shut out in the hallway. Open and then shut. Damn it. Um, he locked himself in the other room. I'm going to actually say that out loud. That way everyone can hear it. And, um... Go ahead and take, uh... Uh, screw it. We'll take uh, take a movement out into the hallway. How far? Uh, and then down ten. There we go. And then in the last action, I'm going to go ahead and call... Um, actually, you know what? I'll just raise my shield. Okay. From there, we go to Wedge. All right. Well, I currently can't see anything. Nope, and you saw Roller shut the door to that other room with himself inside of it. Um, I've used both of those already, and that's going... Um, let's see, we're going to walk forward just behind Is Liriana, Thank you. we're going to attempt to cast a spell, um, I did not pass the flat check. Okay, so the spell was lost. All right, need idle her. Then it goes to it was Wedge Foy. You saw Elias go back out in the hallway. Who's Elias? Ben. Me. And Roller hasn't come in. And you've heard a door, I'm assuming. I also said he's locked himself in the other room. Um, I'm just going to hold my action. Okay, so you are delaying. All right, then we go to Liriata. Okay. Can I step out one or two into the hall? Oops, let me turn on your view. That helps. So that's five, then ten. Then Will what you gonna do? Will that hit everybody? Uh, everybody is within 30 feet, but it, it takes three actions. It takes three actions. Look at that, okay. Well, <laughs> I raise my shield in case they all beat me. <coughs> Get behind the fire. <coughs> what? Get behind the fighter. Ahem. Ahem. She's trying to save okay, us all. Gonna move back there and then right. Thirty foot range. Yeah, but it's a. If you're trying to hit him, you're gonna need that action. Right. That, but I'll even Never sitting back mind. here. I'll still. Well, you do what you want to do. I'm not trying to force you. If I'm you, behind you, will they still all be in the thirty foot range? 
Well, no. they're getting ready to go, so they're going to move forward, most likely. Okay. All right. Using my shield. Then they go. These guys are all going to be able to take a single attack, or two attacks, because that was not more than 25. Alright, so, watch a second, what is your AC, uh, Elias? 19, 21 with the raised shield. Okay, the first two guys miss you, number four is going to miss, and the last one's going after Liriana. It's going to uh, miss the first swing well. The second swing is a only a fifteen. Yeah. <clears throat> Pringles. All right, that was their turn. Roller. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to open the door and hunt prey. Looks like number seven. Let me switch to your view. Because you can see more clearly than the others. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Hunt prey number seven. And then I will take a shot. That's a 20. Not that. That is a hit. With a dirty 20. Right. Six damage. This is two arrows striking at once? No, it's just one. Okay. Does not seem to have done much to him. <clears throat> okay. And that was all three of your actions. So then we go to Verdict. Boy. Oh, make that boy. Can I step out in the hallway? Indeed, you can. Hold on a second. Come on. All right, so you go 5, 10, out into the hallway. I'm going to attack number two. Spin and attack. 24? 24 is a hit. Not a crit. But I get my... Yes. Thirteen. Thirteen, and even though it didn't seem to do as much damage as it should have, you still take it out. As that one crumbles to dust. And your last action? Go back in the room. <laughs> Quick hop oh, out, run, pokey poke, and run away. All right, two... Is that kind of what I'm supposed to do? Oops. Elias. Yep, my turn. Um, well... Run there's, away! There's, there's something dead in, in front of me. I, I want to make it re-dead. Um, so we're going to power attack it. Which you one? It. Uh, the one to... Number four. Uh, One, four, yeah, or six? Number, number four. Okay. And then that is a 27 to hit. 27 is a hit. Okay, is that a crit? That is... That actually is a crit. Woohoo! Glad I checked. Um, standard or is it special? Did you roll an Addy 20? I, no, it was a 17, dirty 20. So. Well, yeah. So you just get double damage? Yeah, just double damage. Uh. Tw 
28. 28. That one crumbles to dust as well. Um. Screw it. We'll step up and strike number one then. Uh, wasn't that a power attack? Oh, that's right. So I only have one action left. Yep. Um, we'll I, raise my shield. Number one and number six are still in reach. If you don't want to have to raise your shield, if you still want to take an attack. Yeah, we'll take we'll take the minus. Let's let's go ahead and attack number one. Okay. And here comes the one. Minus ten. Uh, that's a five. I rolled an eight on the die. That is a critical miss. Um, we're going to say you are going to be enfeebled for one round as you swung so hard that you missed and bounced your sword off the wall next to you. Yep. So you'll have a minus one to all strength-based stuff next round. And then we go to Wedge. We change views. All right. I saw Liriana go run around the corner. Uh, yes. All right. So we are going to start our movement forward. That's five. Oh, can, we'll continue out into the actual hallway. There's ten. And I glance and I see I won't be able to reach her. Correct. All right. So one action to move. Um, we will telekinetic projectile again at the one that's right next to me. Okay. Uh, Set so on a flat check and then uh, 18 to hit. All right. 18 is a hit. All right. It's going to be nine points of bludgeoning damage. Nine points of bludgeoning Number nine. And he disappeared, or he crumbles into a pile of dust. That brings us to Liriana. What is Liriana? You're doing the thing. Three action heal? Yes. All That's right. They get fortitude saves. Yeah, 2d10, straight up. Oops, too many dice. Four. Four. <coughs> All right. Three of them crumble into dust however let's see here let me do this who's left seven and eight Blame well. Hey. <laughs> All right. Foy was. <laughs> Foy has moved around a lot. <laughs> there we go. All right. So that was Liriana. Then we go to Roller. These guys were at the bottom. All right. Um. So they don't get to go after Liriana? No, I. It's being a pain. They do get to go. Okay. All right. So they see who the dangerous person is. Oops. They are both going after Liriana. Uh, first one, a 23 to hit with its first swing. 
a 14 with a second. Does a 23 hit Liriana? Yes. Three damage. The other one. 21 to hit. Yes. And three damage. That's two minimum damages on those guys. <clears throat> now it's Roller's turn. That door behind you is being, like, thumped on as somebody's trying to push Brad. his way through. Brad, though. Sorry. That's fine. <coughs> um, <clears throat> can I step out and shut that door? Okay, that would be two actions. And then... Number one is my hunted prey, so I'll take a shot at him. Okay. That's gonna be a 16 to hit. 16 is a hit. That's 14 damage. And that is enough to send it back to where it belongs. Yes. All right. Then we go to Murdix. Okay. Um... All right, I'm going to send Fangster out the door and tell him if he sees a mob to go in and attack. He does indeed see something. Okay. And he's going to bite. You have been shit die. You got to reform right now. Uh, did better than it was doing. Uh, 11, and I believe, plus 8. Uh, so that's a 19. 19 is a hit. Okay, it's not too bad then. So 1d8 plus 2, I believe. It's giving the biz. Let's get a max. We ain't had it all night. Come on. And we're still not. Okay, 5 points of damage. Five points, it doesn't seem to affect it. And his, that was both of his actions. What about your last two actions? Well, I'm sure it's going to get waylaid here. Yeah, because it didn't bludgeon, did it? Uh, I'll just cast shield. Yeah. From there, we go to... Come on. Elias. All right. Let's screw up number uh, number eight there. Okay. Um, oh, wait. First, so is my bastard sword within reach? Uh, the enemy? You're just enfeebled. Yeah, you're oh, just, just enfeebled. enfeebled. Oh, you're going to have I a minus one. one. Okay, yeah, oh, no, we'll just round. attack him. Okay. Uh, power attack. Was he enfeebled till he was healed? No. No, just one round? Just one round. Alright, 27 to hit. 27 is a hit. That is even a crit. Aha. Uh -huh. So, twice your strength modifier and double what you roll on the two dice there. Thirty damage. All right, that is more than enough to send that one back. And as combat ends, what are you guys going to do? I vote retreat and heal. Run. Fall back to your campsite. Yep. Oh, no, no, no. I think it sounds like a good idea to go rifling through those uh, bones now. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Quick peek. Hide me. Hide me. Rusted scimitars is all they have. There you go. It's all shit. All right. Are you guys doubling back the way that you came in? Uh, yep, the way we came in. All right. So you came in at the west stairs this time. No, you came in at the east stairs. Okay. 
and you guys retreat. Pulling back to rest, um, everybody is actually going to level up from that. Nice. You guys are now level four. Woo! And I believe, since it's going to take a while for everybody to level, that is what we shall call it. All right, cool. Uh, so I get to do all that leveling up again. Yep. All right, and that's where we're going to call the stream tonight. Um, Monday is going to be Pathfinder, and we will see all of our viewers then. Have a great night. See you guys. Bye. Have a good night. This was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Good night. <laughs> this wasn't bad. All right. Night, everybody. Night. There you go.